Hey there, friends. Happy Super Sunday morning to you. We're just going to call it a Super Sunday. You know, we can call it whatever we want. Each day, we have a clean slate, and we can call that day, we can claim that day however we want to, and we can use any adjective we want. We can make it a super Sunday. We can make it a spectacular Sunday. We can make it a... sunny Sunday. It's not a sunny Sunday here, but (laughs) anyway, you can do whatever you want with it. So claim it. Claim it and do it. We've got a couple new art supply journals to go into the shop today. I really do appreciate um, our dear friend purchasing the crowd of kitties. You know who you are. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, That was a fun book to do, and I'm really happy that it moved out of the shop so quickly. So we have uh, Botanical Beauty, and we have Chinese Lanterns. Let's just start with Chinese Lanterns, because this is a fairly new fabric. Now, Miss C is our fabric lady, and she is always, like, blessing us with boxes of this and that from her stash. I think that it's very interesting that this year she has chosen to not buy any new crafting supplies, and you guys would not believe what she's doing with what she has. I love that use what you have kind of mentality that she has going on. We have a sweet little bead bead strand here. Um, I really love these stone hearts. This is a stone heart right here, and this is a sweet piece as well. It just kind of goes with the whole theme of the Chinese lantern book. What's an art supply book? Well, it is a big, thick, big mama that encourages you to sit, and now this one's about four and three quarters. Now, when we let her loose, then you can see that she falls... um, that she falls apart, not falls apart, (laughs) she falls herself out. (laughs) It makes herself so gorgeous and beautiful. An art supply journal, y'all, is just a collection of papers, fabrics, um, focal imagery, sometimes photographs. It's a book that encourages you to create from the book, you know, don't get in your stash, Um, just use the art supply journal. It's like a challenge. But, you know, if you want to use your art supply journal in addition to your stash, then that is awesome as well. You know, over here, we do ourselves. We do not, um, we do not try to copy folks. We do what gives us joy and pleasure and gives us a sense of purpose and artistic creativity. That's kind of what we do here. So let's take a look. Of course, we start with that super cool little three by three mini book. Those are always so much fun because you can use it as an art journal. You can use it as a daily journal. It's 10 pages, and that means you could, you know, let's suppose you want to start a yoga journey, and you're thinking, well, you know, I could dedicate just a small little book to my yoga journey or my fitness journey or whatever that I wanted to write about. Maybe, you know, you got to click that kind of niggling little problem that's just uh, kind of like that. A three by three mini book is a great way to uh, journal things out, to get it out. You know, you can even illustrate it. You can do collage in it. You can do whatever you want. Lots of painty paper right here. I love the way that these two items went together, this cardstock as well as the painty paper. Let's talk a little bit about our creative clusters here. You guys know that anytime you see a paper clip on a page, then that is a cluster, that it's curated for you. All you have to do is take it out and combine the elements any way that you want to, any way that you see fit. You can see that there is, and this is another um, curated item in these books, we've got green, green, all of this is a green theme. This is a green theme uh, from an old Singer sewing manual, and then we've got 1850 a report to Congress, and these are these are letters from farmers in 
different cities and states. It's really super cool. And we've got the green shell peas over here, the sugar and snap pea. I don't know about y'all, but I love and green here. I love the names of plants. I, I love how they're... Um, you know, you, you often wonder, like, where did that come from? <laughs> it's just very interesting to me. Uh, let's chit-chat about Chinese lanterns, which is the theme of the cover of this book. I was interested uh, to learn about the history of Chinese lanterns, and I'm going to put uh, a link to a site that I found that was really informative in Chinese lanterns. I did not know um, that there are three different kinds of Chinese lanterns. Now, you guys, this is some coffee ephemera right here, just some little coffee pages all put together for you. I gotta tell you, this is from our friend M, and she, uh, she sent all this along, and I was like, oh my gosh, she sends like, perfect stuff, you know. Um, there is never a time that I get, I, I just gotta, gotta shout out, just people who are constantly sending me things in the mail. If I mean, you guys just don't know how you fire my creative energy by sending things to me. I always write a thank you note. Um, I just, I just have to say that it is because of y'all that this project, uh, this art, art supply book project, just keeps going and going. Thank you guys so much for sending things to me and inspiring me so much. Okay, back to Chinese lanterns. Chinese lanterns. There are three different kinds. So what we see on the front of this book are hanging Chinese lanterns. Okay. Uh, that is the most common type of lantern, and those are like decorative lanterns that are hung in homes and public spaces. In cities and in rural areas, you can see lanterns adorning st street lights and public buildings and shops and places like that. So, you know, um, something that you see every day if you live uh, in China, many homes will also sport a few decorative lanterns in their windows, especially during festival um, seasons. The, again, a curated cluster right here. Instant creativity, fast art, you know, wonderful for happy males, great for inclusions, wonderful to build pockets with. It's fun to open the book, choose a few pages, get some stuff done, and get on with your day, right? If you, if you have limited space, these are great, you guys, because all you need to work in an art supply journal is a glue stick and a pair of scissors. You know, I prefer a glue stick. Lots of people prefer other adhesive mediums, you know, Use what you want. Be you. Be individual. Be unique. Do your thing. Don't worry about other people. Uh, water, water, right here. Um, we have um, collage element, seashells, ocean, fish. <laughs> I thought that one was fun. I love the way these purple elements all came together, too. Uh, lanterns hung in China. Now, this was really cool. Lanterns hung at Chinese New Year are thought to scare away the neon monster and bring good luck. I don't know if you guys know about the color Haint Blue. Both of my porches on my house that was built in 1949, both of my porches feature Haint Blue paint. Haint blue is like a, a light sky blue, and it discourages spirits from coming in your house. Now, that is a true story. Um, I, don't mind, I don't mind good spirits, but, you know, I don't want the malevolent con that are going to bug me and bother me and make me unhappy. But it's really fun to, um, you know, to think about, well, I mean, when you think about it, light 
um, deters the darkness. And spirits are sometimes dark. Sometimes they're light. Sometimes they're super playful. Um, when my uncle passed, he thought it was super funny um, to um, leave the lights on in my car. Now, I worked at a radio station, so I had to drive quite a, a long way to work. And uh, wouldn't you know it, I would come out and my lights would be on in my car. Now, I had definitely not turned the lights on in my car. And I was making sure that I was not doing that. You know, my car was locked, so there was no way that anybody human could get in my car. Nobody in physical shoes could get in my car. So, um, you know, it kept running the battery down. And one day I just had to put my foot down. I was like, you gotta, you gotta stop turning the lights on. I know you think it's funny and humorous and, you know, you're still pulling my leg even in the afterlife. But, you know, you gotta stop. And he stopped, which was awesome. Uh, but he didn't stop altogether. He was a, he was a trickster. And he just liked to play tricks on you. He liked to appear in the TV at um, inopportune moments and, and scare the pee out of you and stuff like that. All right, back to lanterns. Lantern celebrations such as the Dragon Boat Festival. Now, we think about the Dragon Boat Festival. Now, that features floating lanterns and I think we've all kind of probably seen that image of floating floating lanterns um the the lanterns are lit and put adrift in large groups to create a beautiful spectacle on the water and then we have now hold on let me I'm reading this we have flying lanterns. Now, the mid-autumn festival, you can see a unique type of floating lantern being released into the night skies over China. These airborne lanterns are propelled by rising hot air generated by the flame within the, the lantern. They're beautiful to watch and are often released in large groups for a more eye-catching effect. It's, it's a lovely effect, um, but I did not know, you know, so you have Floating lanterns, flying lanterns, and hanging lanterns. It's, it's all just very, very interesting to me. So there we go. Um, you know, we'll, we'll call this hanging lanterns since we just had a really sweet talk about hanging lanterns. All right, let's look at this botanical beauty. I love anything botanical. I think that it, you know, it relates to my love of gardening. Uh, to the out of doors. This baby is five and three quarters um, as the as the um, the binding goes here, uh, the closure goes here. And of course it fans out really nicely. Sometimes people have told me they kind of put this on the corner of their desk as they're working just sort of as an immediate way to, uh, you know, let's say you need a focal image for something. Well, there it is right there. Let's say you need um, just a background piece, maybe for collage. Well, there you go there. Maybe you need some painty paper. There's that. Um, maybe you would like to have just a piece of border. There you go. You got that too. Um, this is a selection of decoupage papers. So you've got your decoupage papers right there. Maybe you would like to have a little bit of text got some text right there. The books are meant to be used. They're, um, they're also, you know, really fun to just read because there's always information in there. A smattering of different sort of beads here. And let's just crack this baby open and see how it goes. I love this little Halloween card right here. You guys, I am watching. Um, now, I'm super late to this. Penny Dreadful. Um, it was on Showtime. It's, it uh, ran from 2014 to 2016. Uh, Eva Green, Josh Hartnett, uh, Timothy Hutton. Oh my gosh, it is awesome. It is all the things that I love. You know, you have the Frankenstein storyline going on. Uh, we did some black and white here for you. Black and white. This is from, I think this is from, 
an old encyclopedia. <coughs> Excuse me. It shows a farm family having their main meal, and their main meal was always the lunch meal. That was your main meal of the day. Penny Dreadful. Ugh. It, it's just, it's Frankenstein, Dracula, uh, vampires, um, consumption, Victorian England. <laughs> it's just got all the things. Dorian Gray, which I could kind of... Um, it's going to see it's going to be interesting to see how that storyline kind of collides with the rest of the story. Um Timothy Hutton is an explorer whose daughter Mina has been and if you remember, you know the old Dracula book. Um Mina is one of the victims of Dracula, one of his um conquests, so to speak. So Mina has been abducted um and they cannot find her. And Timothy Hutton, the explorer, I think his name is Sir Mallory, is, is, has enlisted all of these people to help him uh, find his, his daughter, Mina. Um, Eva Green is fantastic in anything. I loved her in Kingdom of Heaven. It was probably the first time I ever saw Eva Green She's just phenomenal. Um, she's a very affecting actress. Uh, we've got four signatures, eight pockets in here, uh, lots of imagery, lots of collage items for you to play with. Uh, this was a funny article from a magazine here uh, during COVID. I, it kind of was running features about how to take care of yourself, and this was one about cutting your bangs. Um, this is from an old time life encyclopedia called the body it's very um beautiful to 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 look at that um old 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 book i think it's well not old it's, i think it's from 1950. Uh, that is not old my friends as an almost 63 year old girl that's not old you have magazine pages collage items to play with lots of pretty papers lots of super cool images you know you could jump off right here and create uh, a mixed media art trading card, art trading coin. Uh, these books also have, don't forget that you'll have like substrates through here, right? So you'll have substrates in the pockets that are, it's a mini canvas. It's four by six. So a mini way to create a small piece of art. Time to welcome the season where it matters most. Okay, but Penny Dreadful. Good Lord, it's really, really, really good. And I'm sure that probably y'all are going, God, I watched that years ago. <laughs> it's like, I'm always late. Late, late, late to the party. I wait for things to... Uh, I don't subscribe to Showtime, so, you know, I just kind of wait on things to hit Netflix and uh, Prime Video as well. And I really, it doesn't bother me to wait on things. Uh, my favorite author, author Jacqueline Winspear, uh, who writes the Maisie Dobbs books, she has just released a new Maisie Dobbs, and I've already reserved it using my Libby app on my phone with my library. It does not, it doesn't, um, the waiting is hard, but the waiting is so fulfilling, you know, when you're kind of checking back to see if it's come in, if it's going to be available, how many more weeks. I like things like that. I like kind of the slow-ish, um, you know, it's like when you reserved a book at the library when you were growing up and you were, you know, you were excited when it came in anticipation you know we we get up and and sometimes we have hit like these um dark patches in our lives where we we simply are not anticipating anything good we do anticipate daily some sort of catastrophic awful news from somewhere uh something's not right that's kind of life and just the way things go. 
it's lovely to anticipate um, getting a new book delivered to my telephone, not even having to go anywhere. I love to go to my library, and it's open now, which is very exciting, and I hope to go soon. It's not <clears throat> very far from here. This says, excuse me, which level of hell is this? <laughs> I like the way this painty paper turned out. This is packing paper, by the way. Chris, when he gets parts in the mail, he saves me all the packaging, all the um, papers, all of the styrofoam, which I'm using in my planting projects now because styrofoam kind of acts e -e -e, like vermiculite. You know what I'm talking about? It, it kind of lifts the soil. I'm um, also in big pots, you guys. I read that you could put um, aluminum cans in the pots to kind of, again, you know, take up a little bit of room in there so you don't have to use so much soil in a pot or in a grow bag or whatever, you know, you're, you're planting in right now. So I thought that that was really a handy hint. And I'm doing that quite often because I do like, um, you know, I do like my, my cherry seltzer water from Food Lion. And I drink, um, try to limit myself to one a day. I want one right now, as a matter of fact. I drink a lot of water. But not a whole ton of seltzer water. I really love, again, Michelle sent these. Just really super cool. And so much fun to cut things like that out and make cards. You got cardstock in here to work with. So you can make a greeting card or an anniversary card or a um, happy baby card. We've got a baby coming in uh, our family and we're just all so excited about it because it's been a while since we've had a baby come along. So it's going to be very exciting, very fun. All right, my friends, there we go. We have a botanical beauty for you. Um, these should hit the shop today. It, again, is Super Sunday. What is your Sunday? Claim it. Put a title on it. Is it a safe Sunday? A super Sunday? A spectacular Sunday? Um, sunny Sunday? Um, superb Sunday. <laughs> Claim it, live it to its fullest. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. See you later. Bye.